Okay, guys, I'm back on the XR150L. Okay, sorry, I got a little noise out here. My neighbors are having a party next door. <clears throat> we got an air conditioner running. We're not willing to shut off over there. Okay, today um, I'm gonna install this AEM AFR gauge. Um, I've had a few of these AEM gauges on uh, other cars in the past. So never installed one on a motorcycle, but uh, we're gonna see how that goes. I've already got started on it. Um, the reason, one of the reasons I picked this gauge, it's a little more expensive uh, than the other AEM one, the older one, is because this gauge is a lot thinner. And uh, you, as you can see right there, that's as wide as it is. Um, now I also got this cool holder for it. I need to get a clamp. Uh, I bought a clamp for it as well, but the clamp did not fit the bar, so I just got it zip tied on there for now. Um, but this here, I'll get you guys a part number for this other ring that went around it and uh, fit it pretty well. Um, okay, so now that now that I got that, and I'm probably going to move this brake line. You know, we'll we'll get the brake line out of the way, move it down some a little bit. Um, but I've only got 439 miles on the bike. And I do not want to uh, start modifying stuff uh, without knowing if this bike is running rich or lean. So, okay. Now, <clears throat> I pulled the headlight out. To do that, there's a 10-millimeter uh, bolt on this side, a 10-millimeter bolt on this side. And uh, also have one right there. And then you got another one right there where that hole is. And you kind of got to slide it to the right to get the light to come off. Um, now I've got the wiring harness kind of routed in there. I'm probably going to shorten the wires once I make sure everything works good. Uh, kind of got the wires, you know, ran ran down under the uh, under the forks there. But nothing nothing gets in the way. Excuse me for the wind, guys. Um, so anyways, yeah, we got that tucked down in there. Now, where I wired it to is off of the ignition switch here. Um, you can see we have it wired in there. You can wire it off this black and white wire, but I uh, went off the other side of the plug. It was a thicker wire, the one coming off the ignition switch, and it is a uh, black and red wire, the thick one. Uh, when you turn the key on, you're going to get 12 volts. So that's the one I hooked it to. And then up here, where that little brown tab is, if you guys can see that little tab, there was another connector there that wasn't being used. It was an auxiliary tab or something for another option, a light or something like that. And I used the ground on that side. So this oxygen sensor is gonna be coming off the main fuse from the bike. Um, now I routed the uh, oxygen sensor down here. And that's the next step is to go ahead and uh, get this exhaust pulled off and then when I get that done I'm gonna run to my uh, storage unit grab my welder and we're gonna get that bung welded in there and see how that goes so now that I got all the wiring taken care of I'm gonna go ahead and get the light put back in I'll show you guys how it looks when I turn the key on As you can see, it's heating up there. Now, it's in a pretty good spot. Uh, it's not gonna be in my way when we're riding or anything like that, so uh, that looks good to me. You can see it went full lean there. It's past 20, because uh, it's not in the pipe. It's just sitting in the open air right now. So anyways, I'm gonna get that exhaust pulled. I'll get the headlight put back in, get that exhaust pulled, pulled off, and then uh, bring you guys in when we get to welding on it. Okay guys, got the exhaust pulled off um, out here in the yard where I got a nice little gravel patch where I can do some welding and some grinding. Uh, got me a five gallon bucket of water there too. So if uh, you know anything really goes wrong, we can uh, put a fire out, got the water hose on here. I want to try to be irresponsible.
okay, got the exhaust pulled back off. Now that I know where this bung goes, we're gonna put it right around that mark. I'm gonna put a dot in the center of it, drill a hole, make sure I got enough room for the O2 sensor to fit in there. Okay guys, my drill died here. One with the battery in it, so I got this one. It's a little, a little more scary. It's got wires hanging out the back of it. It's got an old extension cord wired to it. Um, I don't, I'm not at the shop, so I kind of have limited tools. So anyways, I'm gonna get back to it. We drilled it out to a half inch, but that's not going to be big enough. So we're going to use this Dremel and make it a little bit bigger. Okay, guys. Got the exhaust all welded up. Um, yeah, it looks kind of terrible, but uh, got some... Uh, VHT uh, high temp exhaust paint on it, so you know it, it's gonna look it's gonna look factory at a glance. Doesn't look too bad. So we're gonna go ahead and get that put on right now. This exhaust is pretty simple to get on. It just slides right in. It's got a coupler. Slide it all the way in till it butts up. And then the flange is just uh, these two 12 millimeter nuts here. Get them started. down equally. Okay, and then you got a clamp back here. So both of these are 12 millimeters. Yeah, that don't look too bad on there. Okay, the way the paint is and everything, it kind of looks factory if you don't know what you're looking at. And uh, got us a nice little air gap right here. Probably put me a zip tie or something on this wire. I'll show you guys the amount of room we got. I can fit my finger in there, that ain't bad. Okay, and uh, yeah, like I said, that paint, that VHT, flat black, uh, that looks good. Okay, I guess I'm gonna get on this thing and uh, fire it up and show you guys what it looks like. See, Let's see how that gauge works. Get it turned on here. I think it's got to warm up for a second. Okay. Oh yeah, it's heating up. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start it up. Make sure my, my fuel's on here. Okay, still heating up. All right, there you go. I don't know how glad you guys can see that on the camera. It's uh, oh, I can see it's kind of blinking on the camera, but it's not in real life. But you can see the. Uh, gauge right there is uh, sitting at you know about 16 and a half it'll probably go down a little bit when it warms up 
but it's most definitely running lean right now. And flip the throttle a little bit. Okay, yeah, you can see it rich enough there. It comes, comes back a little lean though. It most definitely runs lean uh, on, a, on a cold startup on a hot day. Um, but a lot of people want to know, is this bike going to run rich or is it going to run lean? Uh, you know, out on the freeway, I have a question of it myself. Or, you know, not on the freeway. You're not, you're not on the freeway on this bike, guys. Don't get me wrong. If you're on the freeway, you're getting honked out on this bike. Top speed's 55. Uh, so anyways, but a lot of people want to know, if you got this thing pinged out for all it's worth and you're going up a hill, is this thing running rich? Is it running lean? A lot of people say... Uh, Honda had it cut down for emissions reasons just to meet meet the standards um, I've read that other countries have a bigger carburetor on it than this one here. So uh, I Want to find out what happens if you remove this exhaust restrictor if you know you put a bigger carb on it If you change the air filter to a different one if it's restrictive uh, We're gonna try and figure out all that stuff here with this gauge now that we got it So if you guys like what you watch, uh, you know, please like and subscribe and uh, we're going to make some more videos like this. All right, thank you guys.